feel like the world needs to know and immediately stop supporting Trey Songs. Now, outside of his other allegations, I'm going to say something that is not an allegation. I witnessed it firsthand. Firsthand. At True Lounge, I noticed that not all the women in his section were beautiful. Like, they weren't. But they were all one thing, and that's light complected. And I wondered to myself, well, maybe he just hasn't seen a pretty chocolate girl yet that, you know, he wants to let in his section. Surely Tremaine, you know, the man I grew up with having a crush on. Surely Tremaine isn't opposed to having a chocolate girl in his section as long as she's beautiful, right? Fucking wrong. So as I make my way over to the section, hoping that me and my girlfriend can get in, I was greeted with security after letting, and I'm not even trying to put down women, but I'm going to say probably not the most attractive woman in the section simply because she was light skinned. I mean, I want to tell you, like, to beauty standards, she's not an attractive woman. She got let in the section. And I said, how did you let her in the section but not me? He said because dark skinned women are weak and he said he don't want no weak ass dark skinned women in his section. He said he already has enough weak women in his section. Now I cannot let any dark skinned women in his section because you guys are not pretty enough, pretty much. And I was like, what the fuck? And the DJ, he was DJing in the club last night, literally had a whole speech. He was like, listen, you are a goddess. You don't let this get you down. You're beautiful. You're a goddess. But we're paying him. Sorry. Um, the DJ, he was like DJing, said we're paying him $30,000 and we have to do what he says so we gotta give him what he wants and to me black women are queens you are a queen but we can't let you in the section because he doesn't want dark skinned women that's the industry that's industry shit industry shit like no dark skinned women and I swear we've heard stories about celebrities doing this but I never actually thought it was real like I did but I guess just like seeing it for myself like solidified it in my mind that your favorite celebrity women won't let you next to them because you're weak yeah 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 big baby jtv i might put the clip in the beginning or maybe just might put it here but they have a pretty dark skinned girl right she's complaining or basically saying how trey songs was being prejudiced uh about you know just not having dark skinned women in his section in the club right and you know she felt some type of way about it she went on i believe instagram to talk about it and a lot of people are going off on trey songs about it right but let me make this clip short you know what i'm saying and just quick to the point this video bruh it wasn't trey songs who did that let's start off with that it's his team and his security point blank period now could have trey songs have said a hey, I prefer light-skinned women in my section. I only want light-skinned women and told the security, his team, the venue. Yes. Yes, he could have said that. He could have said that. But honestly, truly, what this was was not Trey Songz himself. Let me tell you something, man. When these celebrities go out there in the club and they're getting paid to be in the club, they do not give a F about a single individual dark skin. No, they give a F about getting a D wet. Meaning... Trey Songs was looking for girls who are ready and willing and look good. Now, look, let me start off by saying this. Is colorism a real thing in the black community? Absolutely. There are gorgeous, gorgeous, dark-skinned women out here who are getting ignored constantly because of just the shade of their skin. It's, it's, it's messed up. It's messed up. It's wrong. You know what I mean? But that's what's happened this goes back to a term i talk about all the time called mental slavery but that's too deep for some of y'all viewers i'm not gonna get into it so ultimately i don't believe it was trey songs who decided this right but for me i'm gonna come at this from another angle and the simple fact that why why are you complaining about somebody or something that don't want you let's start off with that if the security didn't want you to join his his table his booth why are you going on social media to complain about it? Just keep it pushing. If somebody don't want you at the party, then why are you complaining about it? Go to another one, man. Go where you're celebrated and appreciated. And number two, if all these rumors of Trey songs are true, right? And he has this reputation of being a creep, a weirdo, sexual assaults, even rape accusations against him. Why do you want to be in a section? 
why do you want to be objectified by him? Why, why aren't you happy that this weird creep is not uh, inviting you in? You should be happy. You should be celebrating. Oh, no, you're not. Why? Because you like that. You're attracted to him sexually. So you have a lot of leeway and the logic goes out the window and everything that was a red flag goes out the window. Bro, let me tell you something, man. Some of these girls are goofy. And I'm saying this specific girl is goofy. Okay? So you don't want to be harassed. You don't want predatory behavior. But you're going to a section and you want to be in a section with a dude who has all them accusations against them. Goofy chick. But let me know what y'all think in the comments below, man. Big Baby JTV. Quick video, like, comment, sub, and I'm out, bruh.